Hello everyone. Welcome to another video tutorial series of Slidesco. And in this tutorial series, we are going to learn NLP that is natural language processing using Python. This is the first part or the first section of this series where we are going to learn what is NLP, why Python is ideal for NLP, overview of the most popular NLP libraries uh, that is NLTK, Spacey, TextBlob and Jensen and writing your first NLP project that is a simple text processing project. So let's get started. So what is NLP? NLP stands for natural language processing and it is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on enabling computers to understand, interpret and generate human language. It bridges the gap between human communication and machine understanding by analyzing text or speech data. So if I go to Google Translate and enter Aap Kaise Ho, something like this. So it will automatically understand that I have typed Hindi and uh, it will give us the translation. Similarly, if you go to something like chat GPT and say generate image about NLP, if you type something like this, then it will understand that you have requested to create an image and it will start creating that image for you. As you can see, it has generated this uh, image which explains something about NLP. Obviously, it is not perfect, but at least uh, by these chatbots, you understand uh, that they are doing natural language processing. They are understanding our text. They are understanding whatever we are writing and based on whatever we are writing, they are giving us some answers. So key tasks in NLP include language translation that we just saw, Google Translate, sentiment analysis that is understanding if a review is positive or negative or a comment is positive or negative. It also... Uh, Key task in NLP also include chatbots that we just saw. It can be a chatbot like ChatGPT. It can be a chatbot for learning purpose, for entertainment purpose, or customer service bots. And it also uh, it is also used for speech recognition. Example are converting spoken words into text or written text into speech. So those type of tasks can also be achieved with NLP. NLP combines linguistic, computer science and AI to process natural language efficiency. I have listed some real world examples of NLP. First thing is virtual assistants. If you have used Siri in your iPhone or Alexa or Google Assistant or Cortana, so you must have used NLP somewhere. Understand voice commands, respond to queries, and perform tasks like setting reminders or searching for example information. Uh, you can ask Siri to play a song for you. You can ask Siri to call someone. So that is a real world example of NLP. Chatbot and customer support. Example, if you go to websites like Amazon or some banking app or a food delivery platform, uh, they will provide 24-7 customer service by answering frequently asked questions, resolving issues or guiding users. Next is language translation. Examples are Google Translate, DeepL, Microsoft Translator and they use, they, they translate text or speech from one language to another. Most important use is sentiment analysis. Uh, social media monitoring tools like Brand Watch, Hootsuite, they use analyze they use and analyze user opinions from reviews, tweets, or comments to determine if the sentiment is positive, negative, or neutral. 
spam detection in emails like gmail outlook yahoo mail the spams if you will see your email some emails going into junk folder or spam folder so it will filter out unwanted or malicious emails by analyzing their content there also natural language processing can be used text summarization tools like jasper ai quillbot or news aggregation apps summarize long articles or document into concise summaries speech recognition YouTube auto captioning, Google voice typing, convert spoken language into text. I am giving all these examples so that you can understand where can NLP be applied and by learning NLP, how will you get benefited? Because all of these platforms and many such companies are developing more platforms like this, more applications like this where NLP will be required and people who know how to use NLP, people who know how to use Python and create these type of programs will get sufficient jobs and you can create your own projects. Predictive text and auto correction. Their examples is smartphone keyboards uh, do auto correction. Grammarly, Google Docs, they do auto correction. They suggest words, correct typos and improve writing quality. Search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo are the best example. They process user queries and deliver relevant results based on keyword and intent. For example, if I type Apple calories, so it will not search for Apple the company, but it will search for Apple the food because it is understanding the user intent. If I write Apple CEO, then it will understand that I am talking about Apple company. But I, in previous query or this query, I never mentioned this. So obviously there is a lot more to it, but uh, this is also using uh, NLP. Personalized recommendations in Netflix, Spotify, or Amazon. They analyze user preferences and suggest movies, songs, or products based on reviews or search history. Healthcare applications like IBL Watson Health, Babylon Health, analyze medical record, assist in diagnosing conditions, or extract information from patient data. There are some tools which help in legal document analysis. And these are only few examples that showcase how NLP is seamlessly integrated into technologies that we use daily. That's why if you learn NLP, you have great chance of getting a job and in many jobs, NLP is required. Many jobs of AI or LLM, understanding and knowledge of NLP is required. Now, since you have got a basic understanding of NLP, we will learn how to get started with NLP, how to get started with programming our applications or programming simple programs for NLP. So we will use Python language to create NLP programs. And this chapter is going to cover why Python is ideal for NLP. Python is the ideal language, ideal programming language for NLP because of its simplicity, extensive libraries, and robust community support. Here's why Python stands out for NLP. Because it is easy to learn and use. You already, If you are already familiar with Python or not, Python syntax is simple and human readable, making it accessible for beginners and experts alike. It allows developers to focus on solving NLP problems rather than grappling with complex Python programming tasks or Python programming syntax. The most important uh, thing about Python is it has extensive NLP libraries and framework. Python has a rich ecosystem of libraries especially designed for NLP, including NLTK, that is Natural Language Toolkit, 
is a comprehensive library for text processing tasks like tokenization, stemming and tagging. We will learn this. So in your first program, you will learn all of this. You will also learn how to install Python, how to import NLTK and how to install and import a Spacey, TextBlob, GenSim or Transformers by Hugging Face which will be dealt later. But in the first part we will deal with NLTK, Spacey, TextBlob and GenSim. If you have basic knowledge or advanced knowledge of Python then that will be best. Then you can directly get started with this tutorial. If you want to gain basic knowledge of Python because it is very easy to learn, we have this simple course which is Core Python Programming for beginners. Here you will get all of these things like Core Python Programming, data types, math libraries, operators. So it has a lot of chapters where you can learn and understand Python. So I will provide the link of this course. It is available on Udemy and you can learn Python there. And even if you just have very little understanding of Python and still you want to continue with this tutorial. So we will make sure that we explain each and every step whatever we are doing. So that is the reason why Python is the popular framework for NLP because it has these extensive NLP libraries and framework. Most important thing is Python has support for machine learning framework. Python integrates seamlessly with ML frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn which are often needed for advanced NLP tasks like building chatbot and sentiment analysis models which we will learn in the later part of this series. Python also has open source and community support. So Python is open source meaning there is no cost to use. A vast and active community offers tutorials, forums and ready to use code snippets for uh, solving NLP challenge and tools like ChatGPT or Copilot also provide great support so you can use these uh, simple prompts and they will generate a lot of code for you there's a lot of code available on github and other communities so that's why python is very very popular and very useful there are many pre-trained models and tools python supports popular pre-trained nlp models through libraries like hugging face transformers fast text and flare which will significantly reduce development time. So we will try to use some of these pre-trained models. So we don't have to build everything from scratch. These companies have spent millions and millions of dollars into training these models and many of them are available for free. So we can use them and we, we, we can save a lot of time and money. So that is a very important factor. Data handling and visualization. Libraries like Pandas, NumPy make data processing for NLP easier. We also have dedicated tutorial for Python Pandas. So if you want to learn, I will provide the link in the description where you can learn Pandas from scratch. Visualization tools like Matplotlib and Seaborn help analyze text data pattern and model so all of this is covered in that course so you which you can simply avail to start learning if you already know them then you can skip this part scalability and versatile versatility so python works for both small scale prototypes and large scale production systems it supports integration with big data tools like Apache Spark and cloud services for a scalable NLP projects. So later, if you want, you can integrate it with AWS, Azure, Apache Spark, if you want to scale your application and make it more versatile. It has multilingual support because Python libraries I often support multiple languages, enabling NLP tasks for non-English datasets. 
it has cross platform support python is platform independent meaning nlp code can run on various operating systems like windows mac os and linux and it has academic and industry adoption python is widely used in academic research and industries ensuring students and professionals alike can apply their python nlp skills in real world settings so in this chapter you have learned why python is ideal for nlp now we will move ahead and try to understand overview of popular python nlp libraries so overview of popular python nlp libraries here is an overview of the most popular python nlp libraries that is nltk spacey text blob and gensim nltk we already learned that is natural language toolkit and in its name you can see it is used for natural language natural language processing it is one of the oldest and most comprehensive llp libraries designed for research and educational purpose i have written its key features strength best use cases and how to import it so i will provide link to this article in the description so that you can go there and read about nltk if someone asks you so you can tell them its strength is it is highly customizable with a broad range of functionalities and provides a deep understanding of underlying nlp algorithm which we are going to use in our next chapter spacey is a modern industrial strength nlp library designed for production use with a focus on performance and speed so spacey will be used a lot and it is being used a lot because its its focus is on performance and speed its strength is it is fast and efficient for large scale nlp applications and it provides a state of the art accuracy for real world task so we will learn how to import how to install spacey and how to use it for simple task and how to use it for advanced task in upcoming chapters similarly text blob is there it is a simple and beginner friendly nlp library built on nltk and pattern it provides easy to use api for sentiment analysis text translation and noun phrase extraction it has automatic handling of text pre processing task like tokenization you will understand all of this in the next chapter what is tokenization and what are these terms but you have to understand it has a minimal setup and it is ideal for quick prototyping and lightweight nlp task so next is gensim and i have as i said i will provide link to this uh, tutorial and i have a summary comparison also nltk spacey text blob gensim as you can see comprehensive and customizable fast and product ready beginner friendly simple and topic modeling and embedding so a library focused on topic modeling and document similarity using statistical machine learning so this is this this will be very useful for us so for now you just have to remember these names because you cannot understand all of these things in one video but when we will try and use them then you will understand them properly so this is the first introductory part where we understood all the theory we will now in the next chapter we will learn about creating your first nlp project which is a simple text pre processing system and what type of tools what type of programs can be used to do so so see you in the next chapter